Hi, this is JB from Not Allowed Over so Arkham. Welcome to another Marvel Champions LCG playthrough. And this time we are testing out the Storm uh, hero with the pre built leadership deck against the mansion attack on standard difficulty. The only change I made to the uh, encounter deck is that I removed Mystique and replaced it with the new uh, Shadow King encounter set from the uh, Storm hero pack. Uh, let's see how Storm does against this scenario, so let's get started. Okay, and we are nearly ready to begin, so we need to still shuffle all of these. Just place them underneath the uh, main scheme. Okay, so they are shuffled, we don't know the order of these. Then we'll shuffle these. I'll do it uh, behind my back off camera, uh, so I don't know which two enemies we need to defeat. So remember that we are playing on standard difficulty, so we need to defeat two of the villains. So we will start off against Toad. Okay, so all of them have toughness, and uh, Toad has 13 health. And we don't know which uh, villain is next, so we'll figure that out once we defeat Toad. Then, uh, during setup, I have to choose a uh, uh, weather condition. So we have Blizzard, Thunderstorm and Hurricane. And... Uh, I think we'll start with the clear skies. Yeah. I think that's a safe option. I think you should draw your opening hand, but I'm going to play from now on all the setup things uh, before I draw my opening hand, just to be coherent. Even if I play it wrong, this is my <laughs> playthrough and I can play uh, this game the way I want. Uh, there are some troubles with some of the setup uh, abilities, so we'll start with the clear skies, draw our opening hand. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, uh, we'll just finish up the setup, so we we'll flip this. So, when revealed, deal each player a face down and card a card. Then, uh, advance the next card in the main scheme deck, add this card to the victory space, so this goes away. We'll start in the basketball court, so each ally a minion gains toughness. Okay. Uh, when completed, add this scheme to the victory display, advance the next card in the main scheme deck. If there are three main schemes in the victory display, the players lose the game. And this scheme starts with one threat on it per player. Okay, so we draw a Stormscape. Mm, effective leadership to me, my X-Men. Torrential Rain, Uncanny X-Men and Torrential Rain, okay. A lot of threat removal, I think I can lose one of those, uh, actually both of those. Uh, uncanny X-Men. This is good, this is good. And Stormscape is really good. Okay, well, we'll draw two cards. Strength and Lightning Bolt. Okay. We'll go with those. Okay, so nothing to do in the Alter Ego phase, so we'll head to... Uh, we'll head to... Hero face uh, or hero form. So we can do an action swap your weather support in play with the support of your choice and trigger its special ability of your choice. Well, let's see. Lightning bolt. Okay. So let's see. Uh, what was it? So if the thunderstorm is in play, we'll see. 
I'm just so much play against the Postman Jack deal with two dummies to an enemy. So we'll change to Thunderstorm just to remove the tough. Then... Uh, we could play this. This doesn't do anything. I think uh Okay. Let's back up a bit. I'll save the lightning bolt for next round. So we are still in the clear the uh, in the clear skies. Uh, so we'll just attack and remove this. Then we'll play Stormscape using this, this, no, uh, these two. Then we will use the action to swap to Thunderstorm. Now we deal damage and we get ready storm then we'll play to me my x-men using uncanny x-men so search the top five cards one two three four five we get gentle okay well we shuffle these back into our deck so, uh, we'll attack the villain, so we only... We still attack the villain. So, three. Then... Uh, we have the lightning bolt in hand. We will just... Oh no, uh, each character gets plus one attack, so... And this has toughness, so we don't take... We'll just remove the toughness, so we don't take the consequential damage. Okay, then we will hit for three damage. So, a really bursty start. Next round we will definitely lightning bolt something. And that is everything. This goes away uh, during the... Uh, at the end of the phase. Uh, we draw back up to five. One, two, three, four. Let's see. I'm so we have plus one defense and we have the aerial trade and after you resolve the special ability on your weather support exhaust stormscape radio hero so we exhausted this ready okay so we get effective leadership leadership skill pixie weather goddess and lightning bolt okay we'll go to the villain phase we add one threat over here Toad attacks, so after Toad attacks and uh, damages a character you control, discard one random card from your hand. Okay, we'll just take it. So, two plus, uh, if you are engaged with the control, you reveal this card. No, you are not. So, we take two damage. We have to discard one random card from our hand, so we'll shuffle this up a bit. Lose uh, effective leadership, so that's not that bad. Then we get... Why is this here? Did I miss something?
the elite. Oh yeah, we got it from the Brotherhood Strikes. Okay, so we get two encounter cards. So we get Toad. So, um, let's see. Uh, after the will. Where did it be? After Toad attacks. Where did it read? Okay. Oh yeah, it's underneath here. So if a minion with the same title as the new villain is engaged with, uh, okay, so it, if a minion with the same title as the new villain is engaged with a player, discard that minion. Okay. So basically this comes into play, we activate Toad, so Toad attacks again, we'll just take it, uh, so we take 3 damage. And we have to discard another card, so that, that's annoying. Leadership skill, well, not that bad again. But now we don't have enough resources to play Pixie. Oh, oh, we have enough to play Pixie, but not the Lightning uh, Lightning Bolt. Then Pure Maniac. Uh, when reveal Pyro activates against you, if he is not in play, so then counter deck and discard pile for the Pyro Minion and reveal him. Okay, so we don't have to put uh, the. Okay, well. Where is Pyro? There is Pyro. So Pyro comes into play. Oh yeah, each character has plus one attack, so I'm actually down to three. That's not good. We have to think... We have to heal up. Okay. And that is it, so that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Okay, well, uh, there are not that many things to do, so... I think we'll just play Pixie. So we play Pixie. We want to... no, 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 uh, let's, let's back up. Oh yeah, and this enemy comes into play with tough, so that's annoying. Let's not play Pixie yet. We have Gentle in the discard pile, so we probably want to play Pixie either way. So do we want the first change into... Yeah, we'll change into clear skies. Draw a card. Aurora's Garden. That would be good to have. Does it change anything? Yeah. It changes that I will play Weather Goddess. So swap your weather board. We play. Oh no, 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 no. Before I do any of that, I'll hit the top of. Then I, when I change it to clear skies already. Now I can uh, hit for two damage here. Then I will... I will play Pixie. And uh, yeah, I get gentle into my hand. Pixie will defeat Pyro. Pixie is defeated because uh, she takes two consequential damage. 
I'll head to Alter Ego to heal a bit. And actually, let's do it like this. So I use the Lightning Bolt. I'll play the Lightning Bolt with Gentle. I'll heal for 2 damage. And that is everything. So a bit fiddly <laughs> with new mechanics, but I think I played it correctly. So we already up, we draw back, to, back up to 6. And uh, we get the X-Jet, Leadership Skill, Energy, Torrential Rain, Forge, and Storm's Crown. We'll go to the villain phase. We add one threat to the main scheme. Uh, toad. Uh, schemes for 2 plus 1. So 3. So we're at 6. And uh, we get an encounter card, which is uh, almost superior. Attach to a minion and give it the tough status card, otherwise, this card's gain search. Okay. Search. Search. Protect the students. Hinder 2. Okay. Well, that's a bummer. But that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Okay, well, uh, I'll just heal for two with Aurora's Garden. I think I don't need to heal with Aurora's own ability. Do I have any uh, sports? Oh yeah, uh, it's, it's deck and discard pile, so I can search for the deck. Hmm. We'll play Storm's Crown with energy. Uh, we have Torrential Rain, that's really good. So, uh, we'll head to Hero Mode. And... Uh, we have a Thwart of Two. Uh, we'll use the X-Jet to play... And leadership skill to play Torrential Rain. Or do we? Mm. So I think. Oh yeah, actually Pixie came in with. Uh, I think we had clear skies, so nothing. Okay. Yeah, I, I thought that Pixie had thought. Okay. Okay. No, Pixie had thought, so Pixie is actually in play still. <laughs> okay, sorry, I'm messing up these cards now. So, um, so we used energy to play the crown. We haven't played anything else. So, we'll change to Hurricane. We remove uh, two threats from a scheme. We will defeat the scheme. Actually, we'll do that in different order. So first I will exhaust, then I will change, and then I will ready. Sorry about the filthiness, but it is what it is. So uh, next up. I will generate the resource from that card. Use the leadership skill to play.
by torrential rain. So uh, we will remove uh, three threats and uh, remove another two threats. So we're down to one. Oh yeah, and uh, we forgot to when defeated the player who defeated the scheme surfaces their deck and discard part for an ally and adds it to their hand. Okay. Do we have a good dual cost ally? No. We have Havoc, which is too costly for now. So I'll just take Havoc and use that as a resource. Now we can play Forge. And I'll just check. Uh, so we have Utopia here. And Axe Mansion. So, uh, I'll use the X-Jet and Havoc to play Forge. <sighs> then... Okay, and... Uh, this guy has Retaliate. This comes into play with Tough. Then... We might as well hit for two here, hit for two here. So Pixie is defeated. We defeat one. Next we have Avalanche. And, uh, yeah, so put this underneath here. So we have defeated one. I'll just put it like this so we know. You can see which have we have defeated if this stays here doesn't, so we'll just put it like this. Okay, messing up everything. Okay, so Toad is defeated. Okay, so Avalanche toughness and 15 health. Now, 15 more health to deal or, or go through to win the scenario. And uh, I will hit the tough off. We lose the tough, and then we take one consequential damage from the retaliate. And we also have retaliate on store. And that is everything we're ready up. Oh yeah, we forgot to search for. Grab the X jet. That is in our hand. So we get one, two, three, four more cards. We get uh, Blast of Wind, Utopia, Endurance, to me, my X Men, and X jet. Uh, we'll go to the villain phase. We add one here. Avalanche attacks. Uh, Fort will defend. So, Fort is defeated. And uh, we gain an encounter card. This immovable. So if blob is not in play, we search and reveal. Okay, so that that's annoying. Blob has guard. Blob has also tough. And uh, that is it. This basketball court is a bit of an annoying location, because this Brotherhood guys ha having tough is not nice. And yeah, so that is the villain phase, let's go to the next hero phase. Oh yeah, uh, I think I forgot to ready all of these, so let's go, go to the next hero phase. Okay, well... Mm, We need to defeat the 
globe, but we can use the blast of wind. So, uh, we'll change to thunderstorm. Deal two damage here. Then uh, we'll play the Blast of Wind, so we generate one with Storm's Crown. No, no, uh, again, again. First we hit for two, then we do this, so we deal two damage on the blob. Be ready with the Storm's Cape. And then we will Blast of Wind using. Endurance, Utopia, and uh, Thunderstorm. No, no, let's keep it Endurance. We use the Axe Jet instead. So, we deal 3 damage here. And we deal uh, 3 damage here. And this is not an attack, so it deals 3 to any everything. And also we don't take Retaliate. Oh yeah, we don't even have a retaliate now. And we'll defeat Blob. We play Endurance. Four more health. And uh, that is our turn. We ready up. We draw five. One, two, three, four, five. We get Weather Goddess, Endurance, Weather Goddess, Blast of Wind, and Uncanny X. We really wanted to see a Thunderst or Bolt or something. Oh, yeah, this doesn't have Retaliate. Okay, uh, we'll go to the villain phase. Uh, we add one threat to the main scheme Avalanche attacks. I won't defend. Three, uh, four plus two is six, so we'll take six damage. Ouch. No allies to exhaust. We get an encounter card, and it is God of Guard, so we lose Aurora's Garden. And that is it. Okay, well, that was not that bad. So, 12 damage to go, so that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Okay, so I think this round we will just deal as much damage as we can. Uh, then we'll head to Alter Ego. We don't mind if the uh, agenda advances once. Then we'll just try to defeat Avalanche. Okay, but we'll see what we can do. So first off, we will hit for 3 damage. We will change this to yes, guys. Draw a card. We will use oh, and we are ready. So uh, we will play Weather Goddess. Go to Thunderstorm. Deal two damage. Hit for two damage. Uh, three damage. And uh, we uh, can't play another endurance, so we'll Storm's Crown, Endurance, and uh, Leadership Skill. Play the Blast of Wind, dealing 3 damage. One damage off. So we have these two. Do we want to change once more to draw a card? No. Okay.
So we'll go to Alter Ego and discard the Uncanny X-Men. We keep the Weather Goddess just in case. We draw one, two, three, four, five cards and ready up. Next round we probably will defeat uh, Avalanche. So we have uh, Endurance, Mirage, Uncanny X-Men, X-Mansion, Genius and Weather Goddess. We go to the villain phase, we add one here. Uh, Avalanche schemes for two, plus two is four, so we are at eight, so this advances. So this goes into victory display. When revealed, flip this card. And when uh, each character gains retaliate one, that doesn't bother us. And we'll get an encounter card. Groundswell. Avalanche activates against you. He is not in play. Well, for once he is. So two plus one. Villain is not towed. So we get um, three threat added here, which is not a problem. We'll be able to defeat uh, the Brotherhood next round. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Okay, well, this is definitely the last round of the game. I can't heal because I discarded the Aurora's Garden. Uh, okay. Yeah, I'll just play X Mansion. Heal one damage. Flip. And uh, we'll just uh, play Mirage using these three. And we'll stun. Uh, avalanche. Then um, we'll just hit with storms three, uh, two attack or three attack to defeat Avalanche, and that is game. So that was mansion attack with the uh, storms pre-built leadership deck. I think storm is a really versatile hero to play. This uh, pre-built deck, of course, is leadership, so that is usually a pretty decent pre-built deck. And uh, this has a lot of good staple cards that help help staying longer in uh, hero mode, like endurance and uh, stuff like that. And this weather deck is interesting, so uh, you really... Need to get, wrap your head around if you have the Stormscape that you first do something, then change uh, for uh, the support, then ready, and etc. But yeah, pretty interesting and fun game with Storm's prepared leaders deck against the mansion attack. Hope you guys liked this uh, playthrough. Thanks for watching, and until next time.